Hi, in this video we're going to show you how you could instantly search for files using a free tool called WizFile. So we recently did a video on their WizTree app, which is used to find uh, what types of files are taking up hard drive space on your computer. So you might want to check that out. But this WizFile is a little different, so it's based more on uh, searching for files. So if you've ever used the uh, Everything app, where it just kind of gives you instant search results, this kind of works the same way, but it has some filters built in as well. So they have an installable version and a portable version. So I have the portable version here, so it's just a zip file. Uh, you extract it and then you just run the executable and the uh, program is free to use, by the way. So we'll just run it like this. Okay, so now we have the options here to match file names, match entire path and show folders. And then here are our filters. If you wanna have it filtered by these types of files only does a pretty good job sometimes if you do document it'll find some things that aren't really documents you know that type of thing uh, sizes if you want to filter on their size and then of course their dates all right so let's do Hawaii here I have some Hawaii files so you can see it instantly found the results here and all these files have the word Hawaii in them then it also shows the path that these files have and if we match entire path it'll find file paths that have the word Hawaii in them as well. Like this one here, there's no file called Hawaii in this folder here, but there is the word Hawaii in the file path, so that's why it shows. Then you can check the box here to show folders as well. So these folders have Hawaii in the name, and then these other folders uh, have Hawaii in the path there. Okay, and then we could also Try the uh, filters here. So if we want to do just images, for example, like that, most of these are images anyways. If I did document, it shows the documents that have Hawaii in them. All right, so I have sizes. So if I did gigantic, you know, nothing's going to show up. If I did tiny, I'm going to have a few options here for really small files. And you can see the size over here. And then we have the times. So if we have anything today, so these were modified today. So this Word document and the links to the uh, Word document right there were modified today. And then you can clear it when you're done. So if I do the word sales and then report, it'll find everything with both the sales and report in it. So space acts like and. And if you do the pipe, which is this vertical line here, and report. Then I'll find anything with sales or reports. So you can see there's all kinds of items here with the word report in it, but not necessarily the word sales. And I could change this word here, let's say list. Now if I want to filter on it, then of course I could sort by name here. So these have sales and list in them, these two documents here. And if I take this out here, now it's only gonna find sales and list. So like I said, the space is and, so only results with sales and list, both words. But if I put the uh, pipe back in there, it could have either one. So that's an option you could use for filtering as well. You can just clear it out. And even if you don't have something in a search box here, you could still filter by types here. And you'd also filter by path as well. Name. Size. And so on. But what you'll probably use it mostly for is just to do a search for your files. So let's say I was looking for my mountain biking files. I put in biking, I could put in mountain, I could put in both, and find it that way. So you can see it's pretty versatile, yet pretty simple at the same time, so you might find it useful, especially since it's free. So I will put a link in the description where you could download this, and like I said, you could either do the installer, or you could do the uh, portable, and then you could uh, start finding your files. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.